Hi, I'm Masuma Ali, Chief Executive Officer for East London Vision, better known as Elvis. We at Elvis provide support and services to blind and partially sighted people across seven East London boroughs. In a moment, my colleagues Nicola and Bavini will talk us through some of the effects caused by various forms of vision impairment, illustrating some of the impacts they may have on a person's day-to-day -day life. It's important to note that the effects and severity of eye conditions vary widely from person to person, but the following simulations can give you an idea of the typical effects. Here's Nicola with our first scenario, cataracts. Cataracts. A busy high street presents a number of hazards and obstacles. Passers-by and other road users, pushchairs and children, dogs, even negotiating shop doorways. But for someone with cataracts, it's even more challenging. A cataract is the result of a change in the lens protein that results in the lens becoming obscured. As you can see, a person with cataracts may find negotiating down a street much more difficult. Cataracts can impair visual acuity and make surroundings appear blurred or cloudy. Obstacles and hazards are much harder to see or anticipate. Here's Bavini to tell us about macular degeneration. Macular degeneration. Macular degeneration is one of the leading causes of blindness in people over the age of 75. The macula is the very centre of the retina and degeneration of this area is usually associated with the general ageing process of the body. In the same way as our hair may become grey or our skin becomes wrinkled. Tunnel vision. Peripheral vision is a vital component to eyesight. It's an early warning system alerting people to hazards before they're fully aware of them. And peripheral vision also helps locate objects when the eyes are focused elsewhere. Tunnel vision is a condition where a person loses their peripheral vision. It makes activities such as driving impossible as it greatly reduces hazard perception and locating items and objects is much harder as the person needs to be looking right at them in order to see them. Tunnel vision is often the result of glaucoma, which is damage caused by an increase of pressure within the eye, or by a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which can make the light-sensing cells at the edge of the retina less effective. This causes the peripheral vision to be reduced, while central vision is unaffected. Tunnel vision with cataracts. Many people actually live with multiple eye conditions, which can seriously affect many activities of daily living. This demonstrates the effects of tunnel vision with cataracts, where the individual has lost their peripheral vision and their remaining central vision is blurred and cloudy. Hemianopia. Hemianopia is the result of damage to the visual pathways leading from the eye to the brain and often occurs following a stroke, although it can also be associated with brain tumours or head injuries. Hemianopia doesn't mean that one eye stops working. Rather, it means that the person loses one half of their field of view. It can result in things like the person not eating the food from one half of their plate, as they literally cannot see it's there. Diabetic retinopathy. One of the leading causes of blindness in people of working age is a condition called diabetic retinopathy. This is where the eyesight becomes obscured by dark patches caused by changes within the blood supply system at the retina resulting from diabetes. Diabetics should be invited to special eye tests every year to check whether their condition is having an effect on eye health. These checks don't replace regular eye tests at the opticians. Many thanks to Nicola and Bavini for talking us through those common eye conditions. Everybody should have regular eye tests, at least once every two years. An eye test is not just about checking whether your vision needs correcting with glasses or contact lenses. Regular eye tests can help detect eye conditions before you notice the effect on your sight, as well as including health conditions like diabetes, 
and high blood pressure. If you would like to know more about sight loss, please visit www.eastlondonvision.org.uk and wwwpockington trustsorguk And the Waltham Forest Council website has a list of local and national organisations you can contact at www.walthamforest.gov.uk forward slash directory. Thank you.